Do you know, I was involved in the, in the POMI-T trial, which was looking at a, a whole food supplement for men with prostate cancer. Now, I think that was a, well, I designed it myself, so I'm going to say this, but I think it was a very uh, useful trial for men with prostate cancer because 60% of them were taking supplements which were not evidence-based or um, they were taking supplements which were, were actually had been um, investigated and shown to have no benefit or even harmful. For example, the SELECT study uh, showed that vitamin E and selenium increased your risk of prostate cancer. We know that uh, the health professional study showed that if you take a high level of zinc, you increase the risk, but it didn't stop people taking them. So what the trial did is alert patients to appropriate supplements. So even if it stopped them taking an appropriate supplement, that was a good thing, they're saving money. But more than that, um, it actually highlighted a group of foods which were not previously, well, they weren't really investigated at all in randomized study. There were some sort of small phase two studies. So it was one of the first internationally recognized um, scientific uh, bits of work which actually showed a direct cancer benefit. And I think that sort of opened the floodgates to more and more trials coming through um, for other cancer types, for example. Um, but also within the study, we saw other benefits for the patient, such as possible, which were not statistically um, confirmed in that study, but it, it raised questions and which would help us to design future studies. For example, it, it showed an improvement in, uh, uh, in arthritis, and we've had anecdotal reports since then. So I'd very much like to see a trial of a polyphenol-rich food supplement to see if it would prevent the onset of arthritis in cancer survivors, which affects about 55%. So it's a big problem. And as I've just said, if you have arthritis, you then don't exercise as much. And if you don't exercise as much, you probably have uh, poorer outcomes. And then other side effects get worse, such as hot flushes, etc. So you know, things like that might be, seem to be quite a small addition to the patient's daily lives, but it might have quite a large effect on their overall quality sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy that you, you treat one thing and then it helps four or five other things. So uh, I'd be very keen uh, to help develop further polyphenol-rich food trials for symptoms.